And tonight, one of the biggest food events of the year is back at Melwood Art Center. We're talking about Taste of Louisville. It's featuring dozens of local restaurants serving sample portions off their menu. It's happening at the Melwood Art Center tonight, and you can still get tickets, but mm -hmm. our Sam Carter says they are going fast. He's live there this morning showing us what we can taste tonight. Sam? Yeah, guys, 50 years, 75 restaurants, and two great charities. We're with them both right now. The first is Feed Louisville. I want to talk uh, to Ronnie first about, um, you know, Feed Louisville. A lot of people know who you are, but just remind people what it is you guys do. We are a team of professional chefs, former restaurant uh, chefs who cook food for the unhoused community every day. We're really excited to be here because we really see ourselves as a part of the hospitality industry. All of us on our team are former restaurant people, and we have a network of chefs, restaurants, caterers, farmers who donate their still good food to us every day. We take that food and repurpose it and send it out through our network of community partners. The it's food goes a, directly It out. really is such a wonderful thing you guys do. Reedy is here with us as well. Um, two different auctions tonight, but where does the money raised in this auction, where does it go? How does it help people? Um, the money that was raised here is really just helps us with our operations. Sure. A lot of the, the meals, the, our community partners, those meals, we, are, we give those meals, so we have to um, generate revenue in order to be able to support our community partners. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Robbie, you guys have a silent auction that the proceeds will go to you guys. Take me through just your favorite thing on this table right now. Oh my goodness. It has to be the bottle and bond. Love this that. is magnificent. Um, <laughs> love Robbie. Be careful with this. I That's, love it. I'll, I'll just say that. Be Absolutely. careful. Absolutely. Now, I mentioned there's two charities going on tonight. The other one, Frankie's family. He's benefited from this last year. We talked to him. Uh, we got a full table here. You've got a separate silent auction going on. Um, you raised $75,000 for your angel tree last year? Yeah, that's what we did for Frank's family. So our biggest project that we do is we help basically help families in need in the community. And our largest project is our Salvation Army angel tree adoption. We adopt kids and seniors in the community and we helped over 750 families last year. And this event here at Taste of Louisville helps us a whole lot because we can raise a lot of money to help us get to that goal. So we're excited. This is our third year being here so we're excited for tonight and i think we have a lot of great auction items and hope to see everyone tonight. Now, my favorite one up here if you want to complete the cap set for your blantons you absolutely can by buying these mini bland bottles nobody has to know they were mini it's fine you know nobody has to know guys uh, you guys got a big coat drive going on too talk to me about yeah. that real quick so if you're coming tonight if you bring a new adult or kids coat we'll be helping uh, people in the community tonight and we'll have a little giveaway if you bring a coat so if you're coming out to the event tonight you know bring a coat come out visit both us and Feed Louisville. There's some great auction items, and let's raise a lot of money and do a lot of good in the community while also supporting the restaurants uh, here at the event tonight. Have a drink, eat a bunch of food, help two great local charities. Sounds like a full night for me. I'm going to be here. It's going to be good. I wouldn't miss it. Guys, coming up later on in the 6 o'clock hour, more food, more great local charities that you can help. We'll be back in just a little bit. It's just such a great way to see all of the options that we have in our yeah, community. Because, sure. you know, you think you know all the restaurants, and then you <laughs> might be surprised if you hit up something like Taste of Louisville. Yeah, you mm. taste something somewhere, Matt, and you realize, i got to go there. Yeah. i got to try that. I think it's some of the best events that we have in our city is these tastings because you can, you know, get, like, 50-plus restaurants 